generator concept we want to show you the generator part of it now this is the whole effect for the output terminal this is the output coil and here we are making use of only the south the north poles then this is the figure power supply and the other part we are seeing here is part of SPs, the cross motor part is for the power motor coil for the cross motor motor coil for the alternator load which decides the the heating signal of the cross motor input now this is the diagram of the setup here we are uh, like we said we made only use of the north poles this is the generator coil the starter for the gen this is the rotor this is the whole effect we use at 144 whole effect switch that whole effect switch the first terminal is the positive the middle is the negative the extreme end which is the third part is for the signal now these are mosfet for the output signal this mosfet is an n channel mosfet it is triggered by the triples battery bank now with this look at the connection the positive of the whole effect is connected to this signal of the the MOSFET and that of the battery which is the signal we mean is the gate then the negative of the battery goes to the negative of the whole effect while the signal of the whole effect is attached to the source of uh, MOSFET then the same source now goes is connected to the drain of the whole effect which now goes to the output terminal of the load then this is the positive line of um, the positive line of the output which is from this rectifier now watch the whole the main concept is that as soon as the magnet is approaching an induced starter that is a starter that is carrying current due to the effect of load the magnet approaching the starter coil must overcome a repulsive effect of the starter pole which is caused by the induced emf flowing in there because of the load now what happens is that because of the end pole that is approaching and the resultant end pole effect of the starter your motor generator must overcome this force then produce current and try to leave while leaving it happens to meet another reaction this one in this case now while the magnet is leaving the starter pole the because of the induced emf the startup pole phase will automatically automatically switch become a south a south pole and because of the north pole there is an attractive force that means the force is pulling the magnet back to the starter and because of that effect your generator must produce a force that will overcome this reaction that means you have two counter two count forces working against the production of free energy one is when the magnet is approaching the second is when it is leaving now watch this concept we have introduced here since it is only affected when leaving and approaching the starter coil what we did here is we use the whole effect sensor switch place it in a, in a, in a place that whenever the north pole is align with the starter that is only when this MOSFET the output terminal will be connected to the load when they are aligned so that so that when the coil 
is being approached by the magnet, the coil here, the output coil is at zero drag or zero reaction due to there is no EMF or counter EMF produced in the coil because of the load reaction. And while the system is leaving the, the starter coil, it is still leaving without any reaction effect because it has been switched off. Because of this effect, the, the counter forces that is that must be um, that must be overcome by your engine has now been handled because of this simple technique we used. All you have to do is make sure you follow this concept. This is the indicator light showing you when the load when this MOSFET is on and signifying when the load is switched on. So from this little manipulation we believe and it is true that actually you can design your generator to have a zero drag effect. You can expand this, you can do much more than we did. But make sure you watch the next video. This is the part two of this concept. We did the part one, the part two and the part three are two and one um, um, video. So this one shows you the diagram while the other one shows you the working part of this system. Thank you.